Hi, good morning all. I thought since a few people have had issues with Facebook, or think there is an issue with Facebook, I thought I'd do a wee video to try and clear up things and put your mind at ease. The blog is in no way connected to Facebook. None of your comments go on to Facebook. The only comments that are on Facebook are people who choose to put their comments onto Facebook and are members of Facebook. You need to be a member of Facebook to do this. Okay, what I'm going to show you is the Facebook plugin that I had on the other day, which didn't work for us because it messed up um, the village, so I took it off. But I do have it on my daughter's website. And the comments that are made there, people have the choice to put it onto Facebook or not to put it onto Facebook. But anyway, we'll go to Facebook first and have a look at the Lady of Lock page and the Lock of the Louse page and show you that what actually goes from our site, the Wildlife Village, to Facebook automatically at midnight every single night. Okay, here we go. This is Facebook. I'm not logged in yet. Uh, um, I'll just put my password in and anybody who's not a member of Facebook would have to sign up to get into Facebook to see anything on Facebook as well oops do you think sorry my request oh it logged me in but there's some some kind of error coming up okay um, this is my Facebook page. There's my cousin Andrew and Val Gall who's um, put a comment on her Facebook. That's why it's shown up on mine because she's a friend of mine. Okay, we'll go down the side here. We'll go to the Lady the Loch page first. Okay, this takes me to the administrator panel because I run this page. Okay, and here we go. This is the link here that comes over every night. Every time there's a new post goes on to the Wildlife Village, a link is sent to Facebook um, with a little summary of what's written in that, which is in here. It says, as you can see from Nick's um, uh, post he did today, it's got the title of it and a little summary of from it as well, or a little excerpt from it. And people have the choice to like it or comment on it. There's 10 people who have looked at the post, but nobody has actually commented on it. And here's the one from the day before on here. There's uh, someone uh, called Anna. I'm not even going to try and pronounce that name. She likes that. And that's well, is the day before. This is all that goes on here. There's none of your comments are actually taken from that day and put onto Facebook. None at all. If someone from our village, like Susan or Anne, um, decided to come over and comment here. They may have a different name here than they do over there. They'll maybe use their full name here. So, right, let's go and have a wee look at the Lock of the Lows page now, which we are in control of as well. This is not controlled by anybody else. Uh, we have to allow people to be members here. And some members of the village are members on this page as well. But as everybody, not everybody has a Facebook account. Uh, not everybody is, but it's their comments. There's Fiona's um, comment and a few other people who are not members of the website, our website, but are members here. There's a lot of people here that do that. There's um, a wee comment here from me yesterday. Um, and other people have um, added to that as well. But none of these comments are comments from the Wildlife Village. These are people who are logged into Facebook and want to put a comment there. None of this comes over. And let's go and have a wee look at the plugin that I added to our page the other day that came up, that, the one that I took away, Facebook one. Okay, this is um, my daughter's website. Um, Parappa Farmhouse. If you want to go there for a holiday, then you should go here. It's a really nice uh, five-bedroom um, farmhouse. I have to get the plug in. Quite close to the Eden Project, so I chose this page. And here's the plug-in down here. Okay, 
normal replies to, to Lou, if anybody's a member, which I am, because I actually look after the website for her, I can enter a comment in here as Peter Ferns in there, just which is, and I will post the comment, and it comes up just as normal like it does on our page. Well, eventually. Because they're both using the same type of software. And there we go, back down to it. So, and it should come up with a Facebook plugin at the bottom as well. Which I added, you can see I added a comment with my Facebook here a few days ago. Okay, and there's um, my comment with all those letters I just typed in really quickly. And if I come down here, there's my Facebook. And if I logged out of my Facebook, my picture would not be here. It would just, um, it wouldn't be anybody's picture. The person to leave a comment here using your Facebook, they have to be logged into their own Facebook. And they also have the choice to post that comment to Facebook as well, if they wish to. They can uncheck that box there to post the Facebook box if they would rather it just stayed on this village. Uh, but that's something we are not using at the moment. We may use it in the future because it may be beneficial. The reason I put it on the website was to try and encourage more people to comment on our site. Because our site is not a private site. It's not like Pete D's site where you have to log in uh, to see any comments at all. It's a completely open site for people to come on. But if they want to comment, they need to be a member of that village to be able to comment on our site. Nobody can just come in and comment. They could come in and copy your comment and put it onto Facebook. But they can do that with any other website in the world, not just ours. Our site will remain public, but people will have to join as members to be able to make a comment on our site. The reason that it remains public is because it's to encourage more people in the world who are like you guys, who want to come in and talk about wildlife, in particular with you guys at Sospreys. But eventually we, we honestly, we want to keep this going. You know, we don't want it just to be, get stagnant and have not, not have new people join our village. We need to keep it going all the time. If we want to have a legacy in the future, you know, we need new members to keep that going and younger members as well. We can't just keep it to just us like Pete D's site does. You know, we need to open it up to everyone from all over the world, which it is. And by using things like Facebook just to allow people to comment, it doesn't allow our site to go on to Facebook. It just allows people to comment and it's a, just another way for people to get interact with us on our website who might not want to actually join the site at first. Eventually they may do, but the Facebook idea was just to encourage people to interact with us in the first place. 